Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can take any PDF file or image file and turn it into a editable worksheet that you can share within G Suite. Now, the first thing we're going to do is find that worksheet we would like to use. Now, this could be any image file or a PDF file that you already have available. Now I have a PDF file right here and many PDF readers will allow you to export the images within this PDF file. However, we don't all have access to PDF readers, so I'm going to show you a different way of doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this PDF file within Chrome and I'm going to click on the button on the right hand side. Now this button here will fit this document to the page. That means that I can now see everything on a single page and I can easily copy this. Now I'm going to use the screenshot functionality of the computer to do this. Now if you're on Windows, you can either do the shortcut way which is what I'm going to be using in a minute or you use the snipping tool which is already pre-installed on Windows. On Mac you can also use your built-in shortcuts for screenshots. Now I'm going to use the Windows key Shift S to take a screenshot of this page and I'm going to only highlight the sections I would like to keep. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this page and there we go this has now been saved to my clipboard. I'm going to copy this and then the next step is to jump onto my Google Drive and open up a new slideshow. Now, Google Slides is more than just presentation software. Google Slides allows us to create amazing looking documents and layer various elements on top of each other. And that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's go ahead and open up a new slideshow. So I'm going to type slides.new and this will create a new slides for me. Now before doing anything else, I'm going to really clean up my workspace. So let's go ahead and remove this right here, these text boxes. Let's close the themes window and let's jump into the file menu and find our page setup. Now, as you can see, this setup does not look anything like the original document. So we have to change the dimensions. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is select a custom dimension. So we're going to go to custom and then we're going to select 210 millimeters. So that's 21 by 29.7 centimeters. This gives us a neat A4 sized document. Now I would like to have that screenshot I took as my background image. So I'm going to go into the slide menu I'm going to select the edit master and this allows me to change the background of my master slide. So let's go ahead and paste this into my background and let's just enlarge it so that it really fits onto that page. There we go. We're going to center that and then we're going to reapply to all. And there we go. We're going to leave this master. And we now have our image as a background. Now you can see that those two text boxes are still here. So let's go ahead and remove those text boxes and we can now start adding our own text boxes and adding our own text boxes. Well, that is going to make this document editable. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit so that we have more control. We have here our first question and we're going to add a text box. Let's find that text box. Let's draw a text box here and we can even add a placeholder. So let's say answer here. We now have that text box. Well, we can duplicate the text box, control D or right click duplicate and then simply repeat these steps. This way we have our editable worksheet. Now the next step is to share this with your students. So make sure that you've titled your document. In the top left corner, we're going to call this worksheet space. And then we're going to jump onto Google Classroom. I'm now in my Google Classroom and the first thing I want to do is make sure that this is an assignment so that it's assigned to students. So at the top select classwork and then click on that create button. Here we're going to select assignment and we are now in the main editing page for our assignment. Now before we share anything, let's give this a title. So let's call this space worksheet. I'm going to leave some instructions. Please fill out the document. And now before sharing this with your students, you're going to click on the add button. And once you've done that, you can select your Google Drive as the source of your document. And then that's where we're going to find our Google Slides that we've just created. You can see it here on the recent or you could always use the search bar and then find it that way. I'm going to select the worksheet here, add it. And now one last thing we have to do is 
what do we want to send to our students? Do we want to send the original document and just let them view it? Well, actually, we want to create a copy for each and every student. So in this drop down menu, you can make a copy for each student. You can now attach a rubric if you choose to, or even some points. Once everything is set up and ready to go, click on assign and your students will get this file. They'll be able to enter the file. They can click on those text boxes, change their answers, and they don't accidentally move that image because it was stored as a master slide. This was another tips and tricks with apps events and Acer. Now for even more tips and tricks with apps events and Acer, check out the description below. Click on any of the videos on your screen and also subscribe to the channel. I hope you found this helpful and I will see you in the next one.